One of my favourite movies is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the 1971 original. I think it's got loads of fantastic visuals, I think Gene Wilder's really good, and uh, I just think it's one of the best children's films ever made. Um, so I was a bit disappointed when I found out there was going to be a remake, especially when they were apparently going to deviate from the original film so much. Um, however, when I finally got around to watching it, I was actually really pleased with the uh, angle that they took. I think um, there's some really interesting stuff in there, and the way the director chose to deviate so boldly from the source material actually worked very well. But, um, like I say, I know a lot of people out there really didn't like it, so I thought today we would um, compare the two. I'm going to do Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and uh, it's, in my opinion, fantastic remake, Battle Royale. Now, you know, we, we had a bit of fun with uh, King Kong last time, and I'm not an idiot, I'm not saying this is a line-for-line -line remake, of course, or anything like that. All I'm saying is, although uh, the director of Battle Royale might seem like he's gone a long way from just showing children around a chocolate factory with his highly violent satire on uh, Japanese culture, I do believe if you look at these films directly, that pretty much the same things are going on, and you have to remember that this version, Battle Royale, is for millennials, not for the 1970s generation. But let's start with um, the things that they kept the same. Uh, both are set in a dystopian future world where children have basically lost control uh, they have no respect for their elders is the main thing. In Battle Royale, someone's teacher gets stabbed and there's the infamous explosion scene in uh, the Willy Wonka original. And you just get a sense that society is breaking down. Uh, I think this is most heartbreakingly shown in the opening number of the Willy Wonka original when the Candyman has to sing just to sell sweets to children. I mean, you would have thought that would be the easiest job in the world. So how does this culture deal with this problem? Well, in both films they set up a strange competition uh, to catch children inside a deadly net, uh, which is then hyped by the press. Uh, again, Battle Royale goes for a more visceral um, attempt to do this. You can see that at the start with the uh, winner from last year coming out all grinning and covered in blood. But don't forget that Willy Wonka does it in exactly the same way, and arguably a more surreptitious one too. He goes, oh yeah, come to my factory, uh, I'll give you all a golden ticket, and everyone's invited. Everyone's invited, that's the crucial thing. And yet only children win it. Across the world, coincidentally, it's only children that win. And also, whenever a child wins, Slugworth is already there, and the media are already there. Obviously, this has been set up in advance. So, both children are in their respective compounds. We have uh, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, where the children, don't forget, have been conned to go in, and the Battle Royale, where the children have been kind of gassed and lobbed in. And what do we find in both of these? A charismatic figurehead. We have Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. We have the teacher in Battle Royale. And I'm glad they kept the core elements of those characters. I mean, both of them obviously spent the films hiding out in buildings, shouting out encouragements, generally being quite eccentric. And of course, both wearing a uniform, which stays the same throughout. And don't forget, both of them have their literal army, be it the more literal army of Battle Royale with the uniform or the Oompa Loompas of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Both control a world of tricks and traps. Again, Battle Royale, more obvious. You have the mind zones, you have children trying to kill each other, but Willy Wonka throughout has the weird things where people turn into blueberries and the incinerators. And again, we get a crucial thing here that's a different from Roald Dahl's original. In the original, we have a scene where all the children come out at the end like, oh, I'm a bit wobbly or I am a bit blueberries. But in this film, they just might die. You have no evidence that they come out alive. There's even a scene where Willy Wonka's like, oh yeah, Veruca Salt maybe is burnt to death. If it is a Tuesday, I cannot remember. And there we go, she might just be burnt to death. We never hear from her again. Now, again, Battle Royale going for the more obvious violence, showing a lot of the deaths. But if you start to look at the deaths closely, they even act in the same way. Both start with a chubby kid dying, be it in a crossbow or falling into a chocolate river. Both have characters who are psychos and obsessed with guns, and in all the time throughout both films, it's people's vices that make them die. And of course we have our protagonists, Charlie and Cadder. Uh, both are quite virtuous and have very similar backgrounds. We see a little bit um, of both. Both of them are missing a father figure and both of them are quite poor. And throughout they do act as our kind of moral compass, except crucially, both of them make a mistake at one point. Be it Charlie with his fizzy lifting drinks or Cadder killing someone by accident. Indeed, in both films there is only one paragon of virtue. It's Grandpa Joe or Nagawa, and by the end of the films they are the last bastions of hope. They're the ones that get our protagonists through, and so they survive, unlike many of the others along the way. And indeed the ending is interesting itself. Both cleverly make you think that the plot is kind of peters out, i.e. Charlie's just going to leave the factory, or the main characters are dead. 
But the final denouement of both is either Wonka or Kitano having a go at these people, saying you broke the rules, how dare you do this? And it looks like at this last hurdle our protagonists are going to fail. However, then you get to the finale and you realise they've been tricked all along. Wonka with his god stopper, Kitano with his gun. And of course both films end with a surprisingly dark note of uncertainty. In Battle Royale, we have the two children running off into the city, not knowing what's going to happen to them next. And in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, they shoot up in a big elevator towards space. I mean, that's just not going to work out, is it? Gravity will surely take a toll on them at some point. So why remake Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory in this way? For me, it's looking back to what Dahl was trying to do with the novel originally. Roll Dahl hated children, or at the very least seemed to have a dislike for them, which is surprising considering the amount of books he made. And I can't help thinking that in his 1970s original, he's predicting the dystopian society that Battle Royale shows. Uh, we have those elements of dystopia, like I said at the start, and what Battle Royale is doing is going, yes, Roald Dahl was right. Our children are turning out badly. I mean, obviously they had to go more violent. I mean, imagine if you did, like, I don't know, some kind of blockbuster that was a 12A with children running around an island killing each other. It's going to lack something, isn't it? You couldn't just do that. You can't just bash a film out about kids killing each other in a dystopian society, in a 12A film. That's just not going to work. And what this film is saying is that if we carry on like we are, society will end up with a harmless trip around a chocolate factory turning into a battle for survival. Even Charlie, our hero, stole fizzy lifting drinks. It may not sound like a big deal, but when it comes down to it, if such an innocent boy as Charlie can be corrupted in the 70s, then society is doomed. He was saying that if we don't sort out society's problems, we will end up with a vermicious knit of social decay. I've just remembered that there's a Tim Burton film called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That was probably the one that people were saying was the sequel. I think this at best is a massive coincidence. Mm -hmm.